to the bell. Ah. Ah. Awful. What's going on everybody? Workout 36 is here. We just got our quads crushed from suicide quad and you had to go out cardio mandate into the world, move your butts outside. So I hope you're well recovered from all that before we start today. The set is super, the super set. Classic superset is pairing two movements, opposing your complementary movements, back and forth, back and forth for reps, sets. Today we're doing it for time. So you're stuck with two moves for a five minute round. We get a two minute break into the next five minute round. We have six of those today. It's gonna be nasty. The main theme is control the quality of the rep. If I sense some sloppiness out in the world, lightning will strike down on you and you will pay the ultimate price. So you keep it clean on one, the second you can't do it, you jump to the other, keep it clean, try to match the reps, and come back and keep it even, even all the way through the five minutes. Let's hit the board and check out what the heck we're doing. Today we're in the hinge and push pattern themes. So station one, we'll call it, is your classic push up, make that as hard or as easy as you want, and a swing kettlebell or dumbbell. Back and forth, back and forth. Two minute break into the next is overhead press. We can push press, strict press, whatever you need. Dumbbells, barbells, kettlebells. Like we know, you know how to modify the moves with what you have at home. That pairs up with the three-way hollow rocks. So if I get 10 press, I gotta do 10 hollow rocks straight, 10 hollow rock side, 10 hollow rock side. Good. Two minute break after that, five minutes. Into the single leg RDL, two dumbbells, one dumbbell, kettlebells, barbell, whatever you need. Hanging on's fine. Paired up with the chest, fly. So 10 RDLs each leg, I gotta go into 10, chest, fly. Or if you're ripping through it, you can decide I'm gonna double the rep. So 20 fly for every 10 RDL I do. After that, it's heavy deadlifts. So I'm gonna go for a big 245 pound deadlift. You can go bigger if you want. You can do your kettlebells. You can go slow and pause. You know the secrets to make your lighter weight feel more demanding. That pairs up with the ab mat sit up. So if I get 10 deadlifts, I just pop down for 10 sit ups and I get back up. So now what's happening? Our heart's flying. This becomes hard, high conditioning with having to move through these back and forth. After that, we have the fifth round flat chest press. So bench press off a flat bench, floor press off the ground, dumbbells, kettlebells, bar, doesn't matter. We're just doing the same family pattern of movement here. Paired up with the halo. We've done that once. I forget if it was single leg or not, but that's basically going to blow your arms up just the same as press. So that's a nasty one. Then final kettlebell or dumbbell short cycle. If you've never heard of the shorter long cycling in kettlebell sport, this is the craziest stuff I've ever experienced. Short cycles, five minutes nonstop of swinging clean to jerk or press nonstop. I'll throw some video up so you can see what's up. The weights are ridiculous. I get crushed every time. Today will allow us to put the weight down and take breaks. I'll try to go for five minutes unbroken. It is brutal. You think you hate burpees, the cycle's awful. You can do that today with the barbell over and over and over. You can do it with two dumbbells over and over and over, or I'll go to kettlebell. That's it. For a warm up, let's get to it. All you're gonna need is two light dumbbells, the space around you. If for bonus you have one of the small power bands or a broomstick, that can help you with our shoulder circles, but not mandatory. So, see you in warm up in a second. Okay, here we are for the warm up. The first round push ups and swing kind of gets us going anyway for a five minute warm up into the bigger circuit so we don't have to get too crazy. Start with your legs nice and wide. Let's go down for the double pulse, pulse, high reach, open, reset. Pulse, pulse, big. Pulse, pulse, big. Ah, oh, suicide quad. What's the next special work gonna be? I'm always thinking about it. I have my master list. I take requests. I have dreams and nightmares that I draw onto paper. Uh, the brain never stops. Okay, posture up. The hamstring sweeps. Again, we're getting that backside posterior chain warmed up, loosened up. And it's pretty quick warm up today into a pretty quick circuit. It's 30 minutes of actual work. 
with the two minute breaks will be eight minutes of rest. The last two minute rest is at the end of the workout. So that doesn't count. So it's gonna be 38 minutes on the clock hard and fast. And you get to work as hard as you want inside that five minutes. You get to lift as heavy as you want inside that five minutes. Are you gonna do fives of each move or are you gonna do 15s of each move before you switch? Ah, good. Stiff leg kicks if you're tight, you can just stay low, stay lazy with it. Okay, if you have to hold on, you can hold on, do a single leg if you want. Opposite, opposite. Remember, warm ups are always moving in motion. You never do static stretching to get warm for a workout. Good, good, good. Okay, the shoulder circle. You can just start, pretend you got dumbbells in your hands so it's a heavy forced circle. You can grab that broomstick or your little power band, thumb hook. I'm actually long enough I can keep tension on this. If it's not that, you can't get too much tension, just choke up on it, hold it stiff like it is a broomstick, and we'll just touch belly button around to the tailbone, and that lets me fight some muscle flexion while I'm holding this band pulled apart. So slack, I'm trying to hold tension, and we're just doing big circles. Prepare to say goodbye to your shoulders today. A lot of press pattern. Oh, the core movements are kind of just your rest and breathers for it. Okay, we'll do a figure eight now. So let's not move the body, just the big reach round and round. Again, the warning to all those knuckle draggers out there, if you don't have that double arm overhead mobility, your moves are single sided today. Know that, make it your homework to get your overhead mobility in check. There's a million YouTube videos out there that can help you. This banded distraction work we do with the big green bands helps and time and practice. Reverse side, sorry, just five this way. Last one, done. Let's grab our two light dumbbells. Okay, two light dumbbells, stiff leg, RDL. Let's go for about 10. So butt, remember, hinges back. Knees aren't always fully locked. They're about 90%, but they don't move. Back is laser straight. You can watch my laser straight back here. Head, pretend your head, or neck is in a neck brace. Head has to just go for the ride. You're not creeping up, you're not tucking under. Two, one, okay. Dumbbells up for some press work. Let's go fives of each here. So let's go skinny neutral press. Up, down, two, three, four, five. Let's open it up. Wide press, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go into split stagger stance, Arnold press, close it, open, press, close it, open, press, dumbbell stay above your nose. Last one there, and then the last thing we'll do is just rehearse the single leg RDL. So I can do double dumbbell in free space and trust my balance. If you have to let go of one, keep a finger on something or the wall and, whoops, and test it that way. Okay, so we'll do five per side. Remember the center balance line becomes that grounded big toe. Belly button kind of has to shift slightly to stay over it. The wider you hold your hands, the easier the balance is. And the forehead moves with the back of the heel. You're connected like you have a rod down the whole body. It's okay if you tap your foot to catch between reps. Uh, anyone have some, some stinging deja vu from that cheater RDL? The hamstring fire workout. Ah, 
Done. Good. Okay, so the quick thing about today is you're going to have to, the clock's live. So that two minute break is your two minute setup for the next round. So the first round is easy push up variation. I'm going to go probably feet up, hands down to make it harder so I don't hit the higher volume. Match that with my heavy 80 pound swing. You can swing your one heavy dumbbell, swing your kettlebell, lean for the push ups we know. Get your water bottle towel nearby. The clock is master. Five minutes on, two minutes off. Starting after this with a 10 second lead in. Get ready. I'll see you there in a sec. This is last little bit of cleanliness advice. Don't do 17 of one rep and then four of another. Try to keep them even so you're going back and forth often. 10 second lead in and we're on a 38 minute adventure. Here we go. I did not pull my towel and water nearby. Going in three seconds, get your push ups. Don't have to go fast. We're in this for the long haul. All right. Ugh, 10. I'll keep it at tens, that may not last. Come over, you can take a little mini break in between. We gotta get that body warming up still, 10 swing. Come off of that. That was almost a minute. So I'm looking at five clean sets here. If I can hang on to it. No arch back on this push up. My big chin gets in the way. I can't quite get my chest down, but I'm, my chin protects the mic. That works. Swing. The circuit also plays like an AMRAP, as many reps as possible, but we want to keep it just heavy enough that you're not stuck in that as fast as you can mentality. You're thinking big weights, clean reps, survive the round. Okay, here we go again, third, third round. A little wider hand set up. Ten there. Setting up, bell's always in front of you. Same with dumbbell weight. You sit back, reach to it, load. First rep happens on the first pull. All hips. That's 30-30 finished. Minute 43 to go. Working on my 40s here. Heater came on. So you might be hitting 10 push-ups, maybe your bell's really light, so you might do double the amount of swings. You're the boss, you decide. 
So I might be able to finish this and get five more of each. Forty seconds. Five. Twenty seconds. Keep it clean. Remember, if you do an ugly rep, I'm banging on your door, kicking you out of this video. That's our two minute breather, okay? We're getting ready for overhead press. I have my bar behind me, Paula rocks on the ground with a mat. So that's pretty simple. Are you pressing dumbbells? Get your deep, slow breathing happening. I'm getting my water and towel nearby. At two minutes, we'll feel like it's going quicker and quicker, quicker. Cause you can't really see me down here. That's a halfway beep. Don't panic. There. That's better. Okay, so if you're going strict press, ooh, that's the hardest one. You're not gonna last very long, but it's triple the amount of reps on the ground. So it might be a good work recovery time. I have 85 pounds, should start strict, but will not last long. And always remember, shoulders do the work, don't scrunch. Don't try to elevate the shoulder blades while you're pressing. Set back, make those arms do the work. Nothing should rise up with it. That, that's where if you have those tight lats, you can't even get the arms overhead. Five seconds, here we go. I'm done talking. Round two, overhead press, triple way hollow rock. I think fives are good. So that's 15 reps off the ground here. Remember, you can go full extension, hollow rock. Videos are always on the side. C in a little ball is easier. Five, four, three, two, one. Going to straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Look at the look at the wet pit stains. It's like it's like I'm nervous doing this workout. I'm not even sweating yet. Two. One, that's it. Let's keep that rhythm up. Go underneath here. Flex your quads, flex your glutes. Nothing is helping. I can feel the mic, sorry about that. If you have just a little Eight pound dumbbells, you're doing like 25, 30 reps of that before you get down. So maybe you're doing half the amount of hollow rocks. Again, you decide. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. 
And try to predict where that one sloppy rep is about to come in, then switch to push press. It was slowing down. You gotta be your own referee. I'm a hard ass. I like eating popcorn and watching people do crap reps and throwing the flag. So throw the flag on yourself. Do not push into a sloppy rep injury. If low back starts to hurt here, just pull it into a knee bend. No problem. Arms across the body is easier than arms overhead. Get him. Averaging an exact minute per round. I'm gonna go for four and then a push press. My mic is the biggest problem right now. Hollow rock. I'll start opposite side. Five, four, three, two, one. Center. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll get a perfect last rep in. Tons of shoulders still coming up, so don't, don't burn out on this first press round. A little help from the legs. Nice and pretty. Remember that overhead press is measured by arm behind the ear. If you're right here, you're not getting it. You're not ready for it. Three, four, talk too much. Five, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five, end of the round done. Five clean sets. We're getting ready for single leg Romanian deadlift and chest fly. So you can do chest fly on the ball on the ground. I'll do it off my bench. That's gonna go in front. Is it gonna go in front? Where is it gonna go? Maybe just right here. Sure, I'm gonna use 30s. I'll use my hex 30s for this. So I won't be able to do a true fly. I'm gonna be stuck in a little elbow band hybrid fly. Everyone's getting water. And I'm thinking five, that's only halfway. I'm thinking five per leg and 10 fly, five per leg. 10, fly. <sighs> Try to fully reset yourself. <sighs> These haven't been too much of a heart rate gasser. You can tell by the way I'm talking. Next round gets big with our big deadlifts. Heavy chest press coming up after that and that short cycle, your little intro to kettlebelling if you have two kettlebells. Oh my gosh. 20 seconds. A little water, a little water. All right, here we go, three seconds. Find your balance.
Hold those dumbbells close to the leg. Don't let them swing out past your toe. Oh crap. Am I getting crushed? I can just hang on to these. Taking a seat. Okay, so I can't go stiff arm fly. So I draw out and then I crack the elbow, get that maximum chest range of motion and power back up. So keeping it wide, come back up wide. I like to spin the palms together to get a squeeze like this of the dumbbell, but not today. Eight. And nine. Ten. Legs help you up. Going back. See if I can just hang on to these dumbbells for five minutes. RDL is that 90% locked. You never truly lock the leg even though it's called a stiff leg sometimes. <sighs> Sitting down, legs help the dumbbells up. Do cable flies, you can do banded flies. Just look around. What can you mimic this pattern with in your gym? Uh. Start with the last leg. Holding on if you can't balance in free space. One heavy dumbbell can equal two. Form starting to burn because I haven't put the dumbbell down yet. Sitting. Kick, kick. Starting to burn. Where are we at? Minute 20 to go. Big extension. Straight back. The body can't go unless the leg's going. Inside the minute. This will be my last 10. I'm shortening up the range because I'm feeling a lot of burn. It's more like a wide press now. That's going to be it. Whew. Calling it. Oh. Okay, we're in the two minute rest. You're setting up the heaviest version of deadlift you want to do. Double kettlebell, remember that band through the handles on a single kettlebell, that's awful. I'm going to set my weight up. 
And then I'm gonna stop the camera clip just to break up the clips. And I'll join this up right on, right on the mark. Throw a 10 on the end. Get, get. Come on, what do I want first? Black first, come on, come on. One. Two. That's just a halfway, don't worry. Three. Did I use these clips? Check, I always check both ends of the bar. What are we doing? Ad mat sit up 245DL. I'm throw the ad mat sit up in the front. Ad mat sit up's a standard sit up for anyone at home. Any core movement straightforward that you can think of off your mat is fine. So I'm going to stop this at 10 seconds and jump back in. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Big deadlifts going in four seconds. Okay, let's go. I think I might do fives and tens. Ah. Pull my ab mat in, sit down just in front of it. Shoes touch or spread eagle with the legs. Ah. Touch the floor, touch the floor. Floor, floor. Don't touch your heels. All the way. Oof. And make sure that ad mat is right up against your butt. Good. Be able to use your legs, the push of your legs. You're not just pulling a deadlift. This mic is annoying. Get. Use your arms for momentum. That was two and two. Going up again. You gotta be able to control your breathing before you commit to a lift. Almost two minutes. Audio good.
Got it. Number four. Oh crap, woke up the baby, slammed that barbell down, minute to go. If you try to use a skinny pillow or something, it's just gotta fill the void of the arch of the back. Tall man's got a long way to go on these. Thirty seconds. I'm just gonna finish with deadlifts. Oh, what was that? Five, 25 deadlifts, 20 sit-ups, sorry, 40 sit-ups. Not bad. I'll take it. Woo. Okay, I'm not cleaning that up. Just gonna get it out of my way. Roll it back. We're getting heavy for that. Getting heavy for that ready. Ready for that heavy flat chest press. So that can be more push-ups if you need to. Oh, Bruce is laying in the yard. Whew. More push-ups, dumbbell press, kettlebell press, barbell bench press, and the halo. I'll use one of my kettlebells. You can use your dumbbell. That's just vertical, vertical core. In the background, that's halfway. I forgot to put up my shade filter on the door. I don't think it makes a difference. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna turn the bench. And I'm gonna try to max out my 70 pounders. I'm debating today to go pick up the 80 90s even though they're very selective on what you can actually do. But let's get some heavy, heavy chest press going here. And that's for ladies too. There's no such thing as different muscle on a female male body. You work it all for functional strength and proper athletic movement and pain-free living in life. 12 seconds. Get ready, get ready. Maybe I'll get 10. I'll get 10 flat ones here. Here we go. Oh, these are heavier. Up, up. No tempo here. Ten. Heavier you go in this round, harder the next round is going to be. Kettlebell upside down, lock out the body, rigidity, your nose is the equator, kettlebell is orbiting. What do I want to do here? Five and five. Kettlebell orbits the nose line. You don't rest on the body. Can't talk, can't talk. You okay? That's gonna blow up the arms. Ah. 
Up, up, we're back. Nope. Six. Make sure to use that escape. Also, nobody dumps a dumbbell. That's ridiculous. Get it down safely. If you got it up safely, you can put it down safely. Just doing three of these per direction. Oh, the short cycle, long cycle, normally you go into it warmed up and fresh. We're gonna be absolutely crushed. So I'm not expecting much. Try to go six again, we're halfway through. Set those feet. Dumbbell contacts the chest. Dumbbells weigh you up. Perfect ejection. Oh, that is upper body. Explosion. Kettlebell up. Yeah, lock the body. Minute and a half to go. I'll try fives and maybe another three there. Oh. Oh. Thinking about it, thinking about it. Onto the quads. Sit back. Kick, kick. That can be barbell. Bench press as well. You can always handle cumulative more weight on a bar than separate dumbbells. I was just talking to my little cousin. He's talking about one weak arm. If you ever have an imbalance, always train dumbbell work so that weaker arm can catch up. If you're on a machine, the strong arm through the equipment can take that load. A little education mid-set. Sorry, I'll go bonus. One, one two, one, two. Do whatever you can, shake out that blood pump. Okay, all you need is two dumbbells, two kettlebells or a barbell loaded. Whew. Most difficult is once we start, no put downs. You can rest on the shoulders all you want. If you need to put down, count those put downs as strikes, right? And then the next time you wanna try it, if you did three put downs, try to do it with just two or try to do it just with one. So I'll clear the vision, the view here. I'm worried about my mic. Second kettlebell. I'd normally, normally go for greens on a five minute cycle. But I know I'm gonna be, I can't even pick my arms up. So I'm gonna stay lighter. 35 pounders. Side profile for technique. Dumbbells, you're kind of just stuck sumo cleaning or cleaning from the outside, 100% use your legs. Barbell, 100%, use your legs to get the bar up. You try to make this as easy as you can, every rep. Kettlebells, swing, 
You can always take a break on the up, leg push for double overhead if you're tight. One rep's gonna be single overhead, go down again. Next rep, do the other. You won't be able to get two arms up. Don't rest on the way down. Use momentum into the swing or off the press. Boom, momentum into the next one. It's all about efficiency to last, to last the clock. Talking way too much. We're going 10 seconds. You'll see how many breaks I take is just stuck in the, the rack position. Prepare for the short cycle. Here we go. Little baby breaks at every position if you can. We count your reps. You can't grab your fingers, but I can't really make that work for me. That's my first strike. My hands are slipping like crazy. Now keep it going. Oh, the burn. This is really hard. Two strikes already. I have a chalk bucket right there, but I don't want to go to it. Oh, the shoulders are blown up. I'm dying, guys. I'm dying. Oh, I can't even, can't even lift my arms. 90 seconds to go. Sweat. Keep it up.
can't even hang on to them. Twenty seconds. Slipping. Stay clean. Oh. To the bell. Ah. Ah. Awful. Awful. Sweating. Slippage. Oh. Oh. Well, that's the end of the supersets. Not so super. Work at 36 complete. Take a little day off. Join me right back for 37, the exact same protocol with our pull, curl, core, and squat pattern movements. Like always, thanks for being here. Get some more people involved. Get a crew, Peacock Army growing. And see you back for 37.